Machine learning, or ML, is a branch of artificial intelligence that focuses on developing algorithms that allow computers to learn from and make decisions or predictions based on data. Unlike traditional programming, where a developer writes explicit instructions, machine learning enables computers to improve their performance as they process more and more data. Let's break down some key concepts in machine learning. First, we obviously have data. It's the foundation of any machine learning model. And data can be anything from numbers and text to images and sounds. Next, we have models. These are mathematical representations of real world processes. And these models are trained on data to recognize patterns and make predictions. And data and models need algorithms. They use that for training and they do that with features and labels. Now, let's take a closer look at how these concepts work together. Training is the process of teaching the model to understand the data by adjusting its parameters to minimize errors. And algorithms are the step-by-step -step procedures that the model follows to learn from the data. Features are the individual measurable properties of the data, and labels are the outcomes or the targets that the model aims to predict. Machine learning can be categorized into three main types. The first is supervised learning, which involves training the model on a labeled data set, meaning that each input comes with an associated output label. This helps the model learn to make predictions or classifications, such as movie recommendations or classifying emails as spam. Now let's take the example of spam. And classifying spam emails requires the model to essentially review thousands of emails that were labeled as spam or not spam to learn what should be considered spam. As new messages are received, the model reviews and determines if it matches that learned training data and then determines if it's spam or not. Unsupervised learning, on the other hand, deals with unlabeled data. The model tries to find hidden patterns or groupings in the data without any guidance on what the output should be. For example, finding a new way that fraudsters may be defrauding a bank. The algorithm can group the data based on their features, patterns, etc. Then it can look for any feature that doesn't fit into any one of those groups or if it's very different from the rest of the data within the group. These anomalies could be signs of fraud, suspicious activity, or unusual authentications. And lastly, there's reinforcement learning, which is where the model learns by interacting with an environment, receiving penalties or rewards based on its actions. And you can think of it like teaching a dog new tricks. For example, in reinforcement learning, you teach a robot to navigate a maze through a system of rewards. And there are three basic concepts in reinforcement learning, which are state, action, and reward. The state describes the current situation. For a robot that's just learning to walk, that state is the position of its two legs. An action is what an agent, or in this case, the robot, can do in each state. And given the state or the position of its two legs, a robot can take steps within a certain distance. There are only a certain number of finite actions that robot can take. For example, a robot stride can only be, say, 12 inches. And when a robot takes an action in a state, it receives a reward, which is just an abstract concept that describes feedback from the environment, and that feedback can be positive or negative. Think of a positive reward as a positive reinforcement and a negative reward as essentially a penalty or negative reinforcement. Some also classify deep learning as machine learning. And deep learning learns from its own errors and utilizes complex, multi-layered neural networks with large data sets requiring GPUs to process. We'll talk about deep learning in a later video. Thanks for watching, and next up, we'll provide additional overviews on other concepts in AI. 
follow our AI Foundation series here, and we'll see you next time.